For many years, I've been obsessed with Isaac Newton and his relationship with his nemesis, Robert Hooke. Newton is universally respected as one of the greatest geniuses of all time. His book, The Principia Mathematica, gave us the math that we still use to this day to explore the solar system, to explore the stars. But he didn't do it by himself. Newton is considered a hero, but in some ways, Newton is in fact a villain. Robert Hooke, Newton's nemesis, was a man who was deformed and was discriminated against for that reason. Was Newton a scientist or an alchemist? After Newton wrote the Principia, he spent the rest of his life studying alchemy. Who was Robert Hooke? Newton is known to have destroyed the only portrait of Robert Hooke, which used to hang in the Royal Society. It disappeared when Newton took over the Royal Society. It's also known that Newton erased Hooke's name off of buildings that Hooke designed. He also possibly destroyed some of Hooke's personal belongings in the furnaces of the Royal Mint, when Newton was the keeper of the mint. Robert Hooke was a great artist. Some people have said he was the Da Vinci of London. He's considered one of the world's greatest inventors. Isaac Newton was an egotist. He sat for at least a dozen portraits, and even his face and death was turned into a death mask. And yet, all we have left of Robert Hooke are a few of his etchings. Newton was definitely a genius, but was he a great genius, or was he a dark genius? A student of the dark side? An alchemist who was seeking immortality? Perhaps in some way actually achieving immortality? He destroyed his nemesis out of jealousy and greed. Newton chose to erase Hook from history rather than give Hook credit for the influence that Hook had on Newton and his theories. I want to help restore the reputation of Robert Hook. He's one of the world's great geniuses. I want to turn Robert Hook into a cultural hero through a novel that I'm writing. I want to be clear that this is not an academic work. It's not a biography. This is a work of fiction. I am providing a link to a website where you can read the first 10 chapters of the piece. If you like it, I would ask that you please support me. I've entitled the piece, The Reincarnation of Robert Hooke.